Goody, my gang. Today we're doing system test 14. Sorry, my hair's kind of messed up. I was just playing Minecraft. Uh, you can uh, join my Minecraft server. I have one now. Uh, you'll have to go to the Discord to get the mod pack. As of right now, we're working on getting it onto Mod Rent and Curse Forge. But, uh, yeah, we, it's got like 150 mods or something. It's so much fun, though. Create nuclear science, electrodynamics, applied energistics, too. All those fun mods. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's get into the system test. <laughs> looking a bit small because I built this little high voltage circuit which um, I'm going to be putting it taking it back apart to rebuild the panel but so this one YouTube video apparently this thing can put out about 80 volts my multimeter only said it was about eight which is it's better because these batteries total six but anyways let's get this thing put put back on all right, there we go. I hope that cut looked good. Anyways, uh, we got the panel back together. Should be working fine. Uh, this thing fell down. My friend Sam accidentally bumped it. But anyways, uh, I decided to make a system test because Fire Alarm Dude uh, 5967 posted yesterday. Nick posted today. SCR posted today. So I was like, why not join the party? And how about I post today? And because Nick did a no-power test today, how about I do a no-power test? Alright, so number 18 does some rec room outlets. Let me go check if that also did the lights. No, but the E-light is on. So, circuit 9 is the rec room, but circuit, circuit 9 is also the furnace room, and I'm in the furnace room. Really, the only thing on that circuit are these two washers, the uh, color printer back there, and... The water softener, which could be problematic, so I don't think I'll shut that one off. I'll just shut off the lights manually. Flip on our battery switch. And now we're running on, like, stupidly low current, because these batteries hardly do crap. Anyways, let me turn on my filming light. Alright, there we go. You can see we got the E-light going, so uh, to give her a push. All right. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm missing. I forgot a few pieces when I was putting it back together. <laughs> there it goes. We're on, like, super speed, and it's hardly even coding. I should get, like, a... At Menards, they have, like, emergency light batteries, like the, uh, sealed lead acid batteries. Those are about 6 volts, so I think I might pick one of those up so I can get a higher current, because this is ridiculous. Let me set it to max. Hardly anything. And... This one won't be hooked up because I'm using the extension cord. Oh well. So bright. Master power light. Bro. Why do they sound like that? Something pulled? No, nothing's pulled. I don't know how it's... Would you stop activating? What's your problem? 
Okay, there's obviously a short somewhere on here. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm not the best with this. Um. Let me reverse engineer the panel real quick. Yeah, it just took a little bit of waiting. Anyways, unfortunately, we do not have smoke power. However, I disconnected the unit. I'm taking apart this printer, so I just got random parts laying around. Anyways, um, I disconnected the enunciator, but I do have a new pole. Not fully mounted yet. I'm hoping to put that like right there. There's something. How about we silence it? It sounds oddly satisfying, like extra clicky or something. I love it. These wires, like, contain capacitance or something, so can take a minute to a reset. So let me wait this out a second. Are we good? We're good. All right, I did also install another pull station, so let's go to there. Oh my gosh. Uh, right down here somewhere. Here it is. Here's the terminal termination. So I haven't actually gotten any switches on here, but it is hooked up. Oh, there it goes. But anyways, this can go into some switches, and uh, let's just say this is a very long run of wire, because we're like right here by the door. Hopefully I'll put an exit sign up there someday. Um, the wire is all the way around, back there, over the door, all the way around, and way back to the panel, way over there. So it's a pretty long run of wire, I must say. It's probably why the wire has such a high capacitance. Basically what I'm doing when I reset it, I flip off the IDC. That way it gives a second to uh, run out of capacitance. Is it good? It's not good. Just give it a second. All right, now let's do a supervisory. Do this one. Still haven't found that blue LED back yet, but hope it shows up. And we can do the other one. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's that. Um, we'll do the post station last here. Uh, let's unmute it. And max out the speed. It looks red, kind of horrifying on camera. And notice the random variations in speed. That's kind of weird. Anyways, that's that. So I'm gonna shut this guy down. So now, why not? Um, one of the hundreds of mods I have on my server is a fire extinguisher mod. I also want to include some fire alarm parts. So let's go do some basic Minecraft fire alarm testing. Alright, here we are. This here is the fire alarm testing place I built in Minecraft. So this is the uh, fire extinguisher mod. And it adds in some pull stations, a bell... Um, a siren, a fire extinguisher, copper fire extinguisher, um, silent smoke detectors, uh, fire sprinklers, and smoke detectors. All of these guys can be interfaced with redstone. I also forget to mention, did I say copper fire extinguishers? I don't know. Anyways, so basically all this just interfaces with redstone, so, um, as I said, I do have the create mod on here. So we got some Nixie tubes up top that just say fire alarms. I love Nixie tubes. I so badly want some, but they're, they require some inconvenience, inconvenient like electrical stuff. So whatever. 
Anyways, here I'm using a redstone link with a fire bell in the frequency 1 slot and nothing in the frequency 2 slot. So that is connected to these pull stations, and then that just goes up inside to the super basic redstone I have in here. Ignore the world, I just chucked a whole bunch of neon tubes everywhere, because, uh, why not? And I'm also watching Grox in Minecraft, so, you know, that's fun. Anyways, let's give it a pull. So yeah, you just click to pull and click to reset. Pretty simple. All this is just interface with redstone, so as you can see on the back here. The redstone, uh, the redstone transmitter just like lit up and then uh, sent the signal to the receiver somewhere in the roof here. Uh, then you can hear the bell and the siren. Um, now we can uh, demo a fire or a smoke detector. So I put uh, these um, netherrack blocks right beneath them. And then you can see the uh, sprinklers extinguish them instantly. And that one beeps because that's the. Uh, Wait, now I'm confused. This one didn't beep, and this one beeped. What? Oh well. Anyways, now we can grab some fire extinguishers here. And we can demo these. So, set down a fire right there. And, uh... Very simple. Um... And plus, these things work in the nether, so that's a nice alternative to water, I guess. Um, yeah. So, anyways, let's have some fun with a potato cannon and random stuff. Potato cannon. I have a glazed sweet berries in here right now, so they're, uh, it's kind of like a shotgun. I love the sound these things make. And then I have a, uh, netherite back tank on right now, so, uh, let's go, uh, shoot a cow or something. And for the observant people, you might realize that I have a stick in my inventory, and it's enchanted. You might think that's a, uh, debug stick, but, uh, no, it's, a. Uh, it's, a uh, um, 255 knockback stick. Pretty fun. They just get banished from existence. Or they technically get yeeted about 15,000 blocks away, but. <laughs> they just vanish. And if you watch the mini map, they go even further, like, so far, like, they go off the mini map. So there's three villagers in the vicinity. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I've already raided these two villages. You can see the uh, neon tubes. All lining up. In creative mode, can I just have this all fill in automatically? Let's see here. Oh well, I'm, I don't want to like make you sit through all this. So. Oh well. Anyways, let's find some other fun things. So. I've been messing around with the create mod in this world a fair bit, so I have this massive water wheel system here. This goes into a clutch, and then into this massive gearbox. And as we can see here, we have some relatively low power. Bring my engineer's goggles here, so we can um, just check here. So we got um, zero stress units at current speed. Um, but here on the output, I have this guy geared to the max. 256 RPM at, um, that gives us about 4,000 stress units. Here, I have a maxed out, um, this is a maxed out steam engine. Sorry, I was blanking there for a sec. Uh, this is a maxed out steam engine. As we can see, we have over two 200,000 stress units available for this. So we have creative blaze burners, so they never run out. 
We got a whole bunch of gearboxes. I would have used uh in case chain drives, but I need that bottom output to run the pumps. We have six pumps here to go into here. Um so yeah, that's pretty fun. And then up here I have an alternator or a generator, and then that's going out to some power lines and stuff. I would like to get up Create New Age sometime soon, but on CurseForge, the latest version is for like 1.20, which is relatively old. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that would be the video, so, uh, goodbye. <laughs>